So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. I wanted to show you how to manage and edit borders on the page in case you're designing something with borders and you need to, to put some table or some something that looks like this one and how can you achieve this look. So I was playing around with the design that I wanted to achieve exactly this look. So basically a border on the top, border between the two columns and then a border on the bottom of the whole design in, in, in one container. So I really got in trouble because I didn't know how to manage that. But now I figured it out and I wanted to show you quickly in case you want to do something similar. So at this moment, the Groove Pages a platform doesn't work with tables. Uh, this is only now. I'm not sure if there are plans to implement this one. I hope there are. But how to get around it and achieve something like this. There is one block in case you go to blocks, wireframes, and then in pricing, there is one block that looks quite similar to the thing that I wanted to achieve. And this is the last one here in the pricing page. Uh, sorry, the pricing tab. So this looks like this. So if we want to achieve the whole look and design of this, uh, let's go and edit. So the first thing that we will edit is the headline. I just want to put it in the middle. Here we go. So that's in the middle now. And then let's work with the borders now we can see that there is a border around the whole the whole design here and it's rounded so let's start and find where that design is so we selected now everything you can see the green outline and then if we go to borders we can see that the corners were adjusted here so in case we want to put them back to be uh, like this then we just pull this lever back so now we have straight corners but we still want to remove the whole outer part. So if we go and choose the whole thing again, so you can see the green outline, we click on the borders, and then here I got into trouble. I didn't know what to do because everything seems turned off. Turned off, sorry. Um, so let's try to click on this one. You see, when I clicked it, it disappeared. So even though there is border, it's a pre-designed element, it doesn't always show up as a function that it that it was modified. So now when I clicked it, it actually disappeared. So I can see that if I choose this container, it says that it, it's called stylable element. It's basically a container with a one, two, and three columns. So I clicked on it, I want to click on the border. It doesn't appear that there is here something, but I figured out that even though uh, even though it doesn't show up it still has some so if you click on the on the bottom border i think that because this this container here you can see on the bottom it has a border in case uh, you want to choose that one so you click on this one you can see the the white part is down you click on the width and then you choose zero when you do, did that then the whole border disappears. So knowing that, we can go and remove the borders quickly for for the bottom here. So we click on the container borders, we choose the lower border, and then we put it on zero. The same thing for the last one. So let's just quickly do that. And now we have an empty page without borders, without anything. So this helps us now to design the look that we want. So I want to put a border up, I want to put a border here between the, the columns and then I want to put the border down. So let's do that quickly together. So I chose the whole container. You can see this is called stylable element. This is a container that holds all the elements and the columns here. So I chose that one. I click on the border. I will put a uh, uh, border up on the upper border. I will put it on two. And then we put this on zero, but let's do it also for the lower one. So we have this now. And the last thing we need to do is to do a border in the middle here. So this we do that we click on the text, but we see that below the text there is a blue uh, outline. This is to choose the, the container that has the text inside here. So we chose that one. Then we will do a border on that container. We want to do a border on the right hand side of the container. We'll just click this one and then we'll click two. Here we go. So now we have it. 
on this design there is an icon and then there is a heading so I will just pull in an element that is an icon here we go so now we have an icon we have the heading we have the border so let's just put the layout centered here we go and now we have something like this so let's just repeat one more time I clicked on the whole container you can see the green outlined here I click on the border now at this moment I have a top border for this one I will just do a bottom one so the bottom one will do number two click out and then we have it to do a border on the side here I chose the text I go click in the outer part this is where the blue outline is this is to choose the container and then I put a side border on the right and I just duplicate the icon here we go I chose the container layout and then here we go so this way uh, in case you want to do a similar similar thing basically working with borders is quite easy you just need to click the the item that you want to do borders around and then um, you manage the borders that you click on it you choose the width of it if you don't want to have it let's say I will show you how to remove a border I don't want to have any borders here so I click on this one and I put it back to zero or you put it back to width and then you click on it one more time to turn it off okay so did, did, this didn't work on that part so let's just put it on zero and then click on it again and now it's removed so this is how you can remove and add borders. I hope it was easy to understand and I hope you will be able to use it in your designs in case you're designing something similar to this one or tables. Um, then this could be very useful for you. So that's it guys. I hope you understood me and the whole process, how it works. In case you have any questions, just please put them in the box below, in the comments below, and I will be happy to answer them. In case you're doing some interesting designs that you could use this one, share them also so then we can chat about it. Maybe give you some, some feedback and some tips on how to improve it. Thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the group. Bye-bye.